It seems the S&P 500 stock index and the broader underlying U.S. economy is now tied directly to the success of just four major converging tech business groups. That's the latest word from our chief equity strategist and economist, John Blank, and he's here now with me to elaborate. John, what are these groups you speak of? Yeah, let's call it MAGA for stocks. MAGA for stocks, not MAGA in politics. Microsoft, Apple, Google, and Amazon. And why are they so influential to both the stock market and the economy? Well, the S&P 500 index is a market cap weighted index. And those four stocks, you know, speaking somewhat carefully, is somewhere between 20 and 22 percent of that entire market cap. Hard to answer that because Buffett's Berkshire also includes a huge portfolio uh, weight on Apple. So there is probably more than you realize even outside those four stocks. Is Berkshire's basically a flow through for Apple now. Does this picture that we've just painted skew the market picture as stocks struggle to find some direction here? Well, it puts some support in it. It basically means that, you know, you're looking at the S&P 500, where a quarter of the S&P 500, so 100, you know, effectively 100 of the 500 and that, then that, you know, kind of moniker is these four stocks. And that is much more stable, much more, uh, you know, durable pattern for, for people than, they, than it, that occurs to them because they're thinking about the broad economy and these four stocks are multinationals. And they're very, very, very big. Now, traders have been keeping an eye recently on the uh, S&P index's 200-day moving average. Does that picture change things at all? Uh, you know, not. It, what it tells you is right now we're back to sort of around that area and that the market's being far more rational and technical than you might think. So how does this impact that momentum from uh, the earlier summer rally? Well, it, what it means is there's people who are back to uh, feeling comfortable with this market. And it also means there's probably not a lot of upside or downside that will probably track the 200 grade moving average. If we're looking for fundamental lift from here, and that may be you know, a very single digit kind of experience, which might be the story here, which is just a slow drift to higher. The retail <laughs> sector has been a focus for investors also uh, this second quarter earnings season, as the major US retailers revealed how consumers are coping with sky-high inflation. What did you see there? I think people are doing pretty well, other than the lower income groups, um, which are much more affected by the inflation rates. Um, but in general, we've found most people are out spending. They're doing uh, summer buying. We've got the holiday season in advance of us now. It's a pretty strong place for the retailers right now. So what is actually baked into the market and the economy at this point? Well, the big issue here is what's baked in is the Federal Reserve rate hikes that are happening in September, November. We all know they're coming probably 100 basis points and 250 basis point swaths. doesn't really matter if it's 75 or 25. If, you know, that's what happens. Three and a half percent on the 10 year is what's baked in here uh, from the stock market perspective, not the bond market. It'll rise when that happens, but the bond stock market is betting on it. And that basically means the economy and the stock market is looking all the way out. 12 to 16 months to the end of 2023. And that's the thing people get to remember is it's entirely possible for the market to overlook what's happening now because the market cares about events at the end of next year now. All right, here are a few more strong buy stocks on your radar. ST Microelectronics, Arista Networks, and EPAM Systems. Yeah, STM is a great stock to talk about. Chip market. It's a global semiconductor company, designs, develops, and manufactures integrated circuits. Um, the stock is at a forward P of nine uh, with a value score of B, a growth score of B, and a, and a number one rank uh, pick. Short term or long term, you got to like STM. Arista Networks is an interesting stock. It's a Santa Clara based company that does cloud networking solutions. The cloud is big for those modern companies. We talked about you know, Amazon Web Services, stuff like this. So this is a play on that, which is ANET, which is they are the networking group that is benefiting from those cloud networking offerings. And it's number one ranked stock. You know, crummy values grow a D, crummy growth grow a D, but you know, typically stocks like this don't care about that. EPAM is another stock to know about. It's the number one ranked stock in tech. Uh, F for value, C for growth. But here this stock is actually headquartered in Newtown, Pennsylvania. And this is more software engineering and IT consulting. Um, I don't know a lot about this space, but I do know that this is a very strong stock generally. 
and that these people have been in the right place. Uh, there was a huge sell-off in the stock from seven hundred dollars down to two hundred. Now it's about four forty. Um, very difficult to understand when a what what you know to do about this from a from a from a long-term perspective. But if you look at the you know Zach's price and consensus chart, it looks like it's a value. And that, that's what I tell you. All right, our chief equity strategist and economist, John Blank, on the market and the economy. With John, I'm Terry Ruffalo. This material is being provided for informational purposes only, and nothing herein constitutes investment, legal, accounting, or tax advice, or a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold a security. Do not act or rely upon the information and advice given in this podcast without seeking the services of competent and professional legal, tax, or accounting counsel. Publication and distribution of this podcast is not intended to create, and the information contained herein does not constitute an attorney-client relationship. No recommendation or advice is being given as to whether any investment or strategy is suitable for a particular investor. It should not be assumed that any investments in securities, companies, sectors, or markets identified and described were or will be profitable. All information is current as of the date herein and is subject to change without notice. Any views or opinions expressed may not reflect those of Zach's investment research as a whole.